Denmark has just entered into the third phase of its maritime cooperation with Ghana with a focus on the safety of Lake Volta. The Volta Lake Transport Company, PLTC, has been looking up to any opportunities that could make the lake uh, a safe navigation uh, uh, route. And so um, we welcome the Danish uh, initiative to come in to make the, the lake safe for our navigation. Going into this phase three of the strategic sector cooperation between Denmark and Ghana, we are bringing on board new partners in Denmark. Besides the Danish Maritime Authority, we are also bringing on board the Geodata Agency and the Danish Environmental Protection Agency. Ghana is also bringing on board new partners. Yes, we have three partners from Ghana, mainly from the Ministry of Transport. Those are the Ghana Maritime Authority, the Ghana Ports and Harbors Authority, and the Water Lake Transport Company. Here we are at the kickoff of uh, our SSC Partnership Program Phase 3, and we are here at Lake Volta. We're very happy that for this Phase 3 program, we also have an initiative regarding increasing safety of navigation at this lake. During Phase 1 and Phase 2, the Ghana Maritime Authority was very keen on addressing safety issues on Lake Volta. The Ghana Maritime Authority has a mandate to regulate all the water bodies of the country. Of great concern to the authority has been the accidents that frequently happen on the lake, especially due to the tree stumps and especially those that are buried. A lot of work has been done already, some of the stumps have been removed, but the lake as a whole remains uncharted and that is a concern that we wish to address. And for that matter, we seriously welcome the initiative by the Danish Maritime Authority to assist. Finally, here, when entering into phase three, we found a way where we could actually try to work together to see if we can use completely new technology, satellite photos and software solutions to try to be, to try to find solutions how we can map the seabed of the world. We will not be able to map the whole seabed, but we hope very much that we can uh, find a way to map certain sectors uh, of the seabed so that we can have a picture of the tree stops. The one you see in the background, they're very easy to spot, but those that are submerged, very difficult to see. And we're going to see if we can track them up on how to actually find ways to do that by using modern technology. And that's one of the things that we're doing very much forward to work on.